Oh, these business crazy birds. With their strange tolerance for Xenos. Well, we would ignore them. Like they ignored us, or rather, they wanted to do business, 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 business. We couldn't hear it, so we just nodded and thought of Nautilon. Welcome back, my friends, to Snail Wars, the Seekers of Nautilon, and we continue to monitor our, well, not enemies, which is now the Sao Trade Company of Avians that are a little bit upper worlds from us in the galaxy. They're inferior to us, of course. Well, their fleet power is not, but of course, their technology is pathetic. With all the gifts from Nautilon, how could it be otherwise, really? So, they have a tropical preference. They're, with their colorful feathers, they are still industrious and thrifty. They're sedentary and wasteful as well, so... They don't like to go away from their paradise planets. They waste their resources. The Yuldin people, they are called. The Yuldin people of the Zhao Trade Company are obsessed with trading. Even in their early years did they look for things to trade. One of their popular sayings is, what is the purpose of living if there's nothing to trade? What would we do if we had nothing? If we had nothing, we would not be here. They developed spaceships so they could find others to trade with. For the Yuldins, there is nothing greater than the chance to trade. Money, trade, such wonderful worlds. Do you trade with us? We only want to trade and money. We are prepared for the alternative. If you would not cooperate. They're a plutocratic oligarchy of merchant and mining guilds with a meritocracy. So many M's. Must be good. Continue our way though. A way to gain... Well, maybe it's also a trade problem. We need more consumer goods. Consumer goods and more consumer goods as... Our population grows. And we must produce also more consumer goods as we try here, as you can see. Mm. We must spend a little bit of our minerals as we have... A lot of them and must dynamically look into yeah that's enough Ooh, look at that yeah hopefully yeah in the in the next we'll have something and then we can build a building and everything will be good again and here oh yeah let's build a bit let's build a bit Consumer goods, because that's what we need. The temples also need consumer goods. Oh, yes. Ooh. Where will we get that from? And here? Oh, look at that. Two. Two available jobs. Two miners. Oh. And some growth. Growth. Give us a little bit more. It shall be okay. We're also building habitats left and right. We've begun another habitat. As soon as we have enough influence, we go for that again. Uh, buffed our unity by declaring one of our papal saints. And uh, now it's time to save our influence because the, the mega structures are coming. The mega engineering is coming. We need to uh, do a great work to qualify us for, you can see here, galactic wonders, because we must repair or fully upgrade any megastructure. One of these megastructures that unlock with the mega engineering technology. And that are not ring world, matter decompressor or Dyson sphere. So, what could it be? Maybe the diplomatic council? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the diplomatic council, <laughs> but something else could could be. Construction complete. Maybe the, the this this Overwatch thing. I I don't. F I always forget how it's called. Complete. There's a trade station. Yeah, 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 yeah. But sh that should be. Oh look, yeah, the Galactic Stock Exchange. That's what we need. Uh was that the right thing? I don't even know anymore. And here. Five, 
four available jobs as medical workers and entertainers. I think we can safely go for some clone vats. Here on the brain shell, everything is fine. Buyers of Nautilon. Oh, look, yeah, we need to grow a bit to have, have something to do. Nautilon's harvest. Oh, we could upgrade a bit here. It should be okay. Slowly repairing our consumer goods and trade. Slowly, slowly. Icy gaze of Nautilon still needs miners. The population going. It's going well, it's going strong. Barren perfection. Hmm. Nothing much here. Maybe we could for an upgraded temple. Look, the crisis is fixing itself, maybe. The Sutherian technocracy. Very powerful, because they have a technology level equivalent to ours. Alarming. We have nutrient replication now. Wow. Food from drops plus 15%. Technology gifted from Nautilon. The process of synthetically replicating crops requires a lot of collected waste to create a small amount of produce. Nevertheless, provides a significant boost to agricultural output. And not... And now? And now? What would we like to go for? The Citadel of Faith would be one option. Or in soil enrichment would be good too. Terraforming is not needed. Galactic bureaucracy. Or the Citadel of Faith. Let's see. Whom we have here. Divya Morty. Can go and construct Citadel of Faith. Because it's her specialty. And these things count. In the Nautiloid world. Galaxy. Laura comes back here. And now, we still need consumer goods. It's not that many anymore. And suffer a bit for it. We need some influence. Or when mega engineering comes around. Here also, trade hub. The drums of war for the first time in recorded history. <gasps> the warring factions of the Imari have united under a single great Khan. This mysterious warlord, who according to some accounts is a powerful psychic, has emerged from their warrior caste and accomplished... and accomplished what most thought impossible. Through a combination of guile, charisma and military genius, the newly ground great Khan has won the utter loyalty and devotion of all Imari factions. Now that they are no longer busy killing each other, the Imari are turning their attention elsewhere to us. Great fleets are massing for war, crewed by eager warriors, are now steadfast comrades in arms despite having been mortal enemies mere months ago. A new threat is born. I am Kurachi Wakali, Great Khan of the Imari Horde, and I am here to announce to the galaxy that a new age is upon us. A dark era where Imari would senselessly butcher one another for scarps of resources or a Misguided Sons of Honor has finally come to an end. I've solemnly promised my people of new beginning through the formation of a great empire that will forever enshrine the name of the Imari species in the annals of galactic history. To those who would stand in our way know this, I will stop at nothing to realize the true destiny of my people if you oppose us. The Imari Horde will grind you into dust. Strong words, but you can back them up by troops, uh, by, by, by ships that are... Uh, uh, this is Great Khan Korachi. Have you come to submit to my rule? You seem very uh, articulate for an Imari. Uh, yes, you are perhaps referring to the somewhat crude and, shall we say, rustic dialect that has been used by Imari up until now. You may not believe this, but the Imari language was once far more developed. It's only in the last thousand years or so that it has gradually developed into its current sorry state. But that changes now. Henceforth, all Imari will be educated in the older, richer version of our language. There shall be no more shrieking. Um, 
We might need to think about surrender because maybe we can live under the protection of this Khan until we are ready to bring the world to Nautilon and bring the galaxy to Nautilon. It would be a great protection, look at that. It would be in everything. So this, uh, let's first, I don't know, housing this, the clone bats. And let's start some planetary growth. <laughs> now we can look at that a bit more. Maybe not in these full worlds, but in worlds like these. We can encourage a bit of growth. as well. A lot of food our way. Here, here as well of course. There we have already taken these measures. So, I guess they are coming. Construction complete. We have to think hard about our surrender because otherwise they will destroy everything and then we'll have to surrender. And maybe they can protect us said that, that could be the great plan we have goodness are we we are lucky are we are happy or can we be so happy crazy here and there shall we continue this fire shell Going strong. Oh, look at that. They're first attacking the Ospranian kingdom. Woo! These guys, they have unknown orders. Well, yeah, go to these guys. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> They're superior still. That will change quickly. Going on here, the Vivisandia. Yeah, let's hope the Vivisandia get attacked, or the Tekkerus even. There's something coming here. Oh, are they uniting their fleets? What is it going on? Oh, they are going to Golba. Oh, look. Wee! <laughs> rivalry, rivalry has ended because of a threat. Construction complete. A mutual threat. Oh, there's a threat. Don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. And that's the, where it all decides itself, right? They're coming to us. What should we do? I'll first give out some uh, something to trade, uh, something to spark growth here. And then I'll have to think hard 
about what we can do to please the Khan. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode. Great time until then and happy gaming. Maybe we must weather the winter under the wings of the Khan and uh, come again when the sun melts his icy embers. <laughs>